The market is hot and it's tempting for buyers to overextend. So I want to offer you a three part home buying rules called 3035. So you can get into the market and you can survive any financial downturn. Ready to buy responsibly? Listen in. Welcome to Keeping It Real Estate. I'm your host, Milana. I'm here to share my over 20 years of experience and expertise with you. Way too many home buyers overextended themselves with the help of overly easy credit guidelines during the financial crisis of 2008. And so we resulted in a slew of foreclosures. Things are different now. For example, lenders are much tighter on their guidelines. They require evidence of income rather than stated, and they require a larger down payment. However, ultimately buyers are the responsible ones. So here are the rules on buying responsibly. Home buying rule number one, try to spend no more than 30% of your gross household income on a monthly mortgage payment. For example, spending 30% of your monthly $20,000 gross income is $6,000 for mortgage and leaves you $14,000 cushion to take care of your basic monthly needs and let you save. If you were to up that to 40%, your mortgage would be $8,000 with only 12,000 remaining for basic needs. Now imagine if you had a household income much less than that, your cushion would be very small. Remember, you must be able to take care of your basic needs with the remaining money. Home buying rule number two, have at least 30% of the home value saved up in cash or some kind of semi-liquid assets like stocks. The reason for this is you should have 20% for the down payment to avoid PMI insurance and get the lowest mortgage rate. Then you need to have 2% for closing costs. The rest is just a healthy cash buffer in case of a rainy day. When interest rates are so low, I'm not saying you have to put a 20% down payment. You can put 10%, but you need to have the money readily available because the homeowners that got into trouble the quickest during the previous recession had minimal down payment with no savings. Home buying rule number three, limit the value of your target home to no more than five times your annual household gross income. This is a quick way for home buyers for you to understand your risk averse price range. For example, if your gross household income is 200,000, you can comfortably buy a million dollar property. If your annual household income is 500,000, you can comfortably buy 2.5 million. Even if you just follow one part of the rule, you'll be able to enjoy your property more because you'll be less stressed about your finances. But ideally, of course, try to follow two or more parts. And if you want to violate this 30-35 rule, then at least consider doing any of the following. Rent out a portion of your house. Try to get a raise or a job promotion. Create a business on the side to have a legitimately um, business to deduct a home office and other expenses associated. Build new passive income streams. Be really nice to your parents and rich relatives. Just kidding on that one. Hope this helps. Please follow, like, and save. Check out my YouTube channel. The link is in the bio. And for more tips and tricks, I'll see you next week.